You've competed in dressage competitions all over Europe, but what was your very first international competition like? So my first international was Barcelona, um, and that was on a horse called Beethoven. Um, he was really a cool little horse. He was actually an eventer and turned dressage horse. Um, my dad drove me there and a couple of the other members of the team. Um, he, My parents have been so supportive. They've driven me literally all over Europe for years and years and years. Um, it's part of what we do, and as a family, we really enjoy it. Um, it's we call it trucking. So we off we go to Copenhagen or Helsinki or some seriously long drives, three and four days. Um, but it's always a lot of fun, and we always have the barbecue with us, and it's very social. So the journeys themselves are not um, hard work, um, and there's plenty of rest for the horses on the way. Um, and yeah, for a first show, it was probably um, I was probably spoilt with that first show. Could you tell me what it was like to actually be there in Barcelona for the first time? Yeah, the the feeling of the way they put that competition on with the gala evenings and the cocktail parties and the prizes, it was all very glamorous and gave me a little bit of a false idea of what international life was like. And although the top level is really like that, um, the day-to-day -day shows are not like that. Um, but it was an experience I'll never forget, and the prizes were incredible, and holidays, and oh, it was an unbelievable experience. And I came home with that gold medal, and um, my family here at home had dressed the balcony up of the house, and the stables were dressed up, and it was all very much uh, a fantastic time, and gave me the feeling of, yeah, this is what I want to do. And coming down the centre line and them ringing the bell and saying next for Great Britain is so and so it's just such a, a good feeling and then it makes you want to sit up and try your very best not only for yourself and for your horse and your teammates but also for your country. So that competition was almost 25 years ago what have you learned since then? So what I've learned from uh, that first international um, is that this world of horses is um a lot of ups and downs. There's no easy straight road up. There's no continual curve in a career like you would have in, um, say, if you if you train to be a doctor, then you can train for seven years, and at the end of it, you know, you pass your exams and you're a doctor. Nobody takes that away from you. When you train a dressage horse, a Grand Prix horse, which takes seven years, if on year three, four, five, or six, that horse is either damaged or sold from underneath you, or... Um, becomes ill or sick or doesn't want to um, take the pressure of the sport anymore, you, you don't get to start with the next one at year five. You have to start again at the beginning again. So how and why did you get involved with horse riding to begin with? So I got into riding through my parents. They decided at a very early age, my mum rode, um, just, just for fun. Um, we started uh, riding me and my sister. I was four years old. Um, and we'd go every weekend, and by eight years old, I had my first pony, and I would then ride and go to the stable seven days a week. Um, it, this took over school very quickly. Um, school were very good with me and recognised by 12 years old that it was what I wanted to do. Um, There's no point fighting it. So they allowed me to um, go on a Monday and a Friday afternoon to the horse instead of school, which was great. Um, and my parents were happy with that because they also knew it was what I wanted to do. So is this something you've always enjoyed doing or do you see yourself doing something different in the future? So I strongly believe if I was to win the lottery tomorrow, I would still teach the people I wanted to teach um, because it's part of me, it's part of who I am. It makes me feel good at the end of the day and it's a knowledge base that I have and a skill set that I've learned over so many years through hours and hours of training all over Europe is not something that I want to uh, not share. So with good trainers and going to, um, I lived in Holland, Germany, um, Ascot, Grimsby, all over the place, um, learning it with the best riders of the world um, and competing round Europe with them um, gave me uh, an insight to this seven day a week life, which is a way of life, not, not a job. But yeah, as far as enjoying it goes, absolutely every day and really missed it while lockdown's on.